Hi, this is Joy with Obsessed with Scrapbooking, and today we're making this fun coffee cup thank you card using the new Close to My Heart Artfully Sent Cricut cartridge. This cartridge makes 400 different super fun cards. Take a look and notice that I have sizing for all the machines, and let's get started. All right, let's get started. I'm going to be making <clears throat> this super fun coffee card, and it says have a cup. So first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and score this at four and a quarter. And that is going to make our five and a half by four and a quarter card, which is a standard A2 size card. And this is from Artfully Scent, as uh, I just talked about. The new Artfully Scent Cricut, close to my heart, Cricut cartridge. Okay, now I've just got a piece here that's four by five <clears throat> and a quarter. And I'm going to use that to stick around, stick in the back to back the thing with. So first I'm going to take my Bonding Memories glue pen. That's close to my heart also. And I'm just going to go around these pieces because, as you can see there, there's little squiggles and stuff like that, you know, that you kind of want to get some glue on, right? You know what I mean? And then I'll use the big, big Mac Daddy right here for, um... <laughs> For the bigger part that doesn't need such fine detail. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and get this down and I'm just going to center it. Okay, next up I have some pieces that are going to make the front and it says have a cup. Now this have a cup is from, I have a little, I left them on the mat because some of them are teensy weensy. Have a cup is actually from the Love You a Latte <coughs> cartridge. And, which is kind of funny, I love that cartridge. <laughs> so let's pull up, whoa, let's not break half a cup. <laughs> you guys can see, I'm trying to pry it up here with my tweezer bees. It's gonna be half a cup. And maybe, you know what, I'm thinking perhaps we might wanna put the cup down first. Hang on here. The cup sits like this. Gonna be all right, we've got our half again using this glue pen quickly before it dries and decides to be semi permanent. And you know, they all work like that, so all brands kind of work like that. So, this is not just a close to my heart thing that'll, that'll happen with. Do you think that's straight? I think it's straight. Yay. I love it when it's straight. All right, so let's pry up this A. Okay, so there's our half a cup. And we are just going to layer this up. Now, the purpose of this card was I had some. I've already made it twice, you guys. Hee <laughs> hee. So I really know what I'm doing. <laughs> You'd think. Oh. <laughs> okay, so here we go. <clears throat> now I'm going to go ahead and put. <clears throat> I've matted that. I'm going to go ahead and put this ribbon in here. Looking pretty good. Okay, we're going to go with that. And <clears throat> I'm going to have a bow here that I've already tied to save time. And then it's going to say have a cup. So I get some big pieces here. I need some big ones. And then I just need a glue dot for my ribbon. And I'm done with that front part. And then all I need to do is put the inside in, stamp it, and we are done. Okay, so I'm going to set him there. I'll put this here. Here's my glue dots. Okay, that's the icky side. That's the pretty side. I don't even know if it really is obvious, but to me it is. One side looks better than the other. Okay, we're just going to do this. I'm going to fluff that out a little bit. And there's our card front. Okay, so now let's go into the back. And I am just going to put an inside piece. So this piece is four by five and a quarter. It's just cream colored. And I'm going to, I'm going to stamp first <laughs> before I stick it down, lest I make a mistake. I highly advise this course of action. Although <laughs> these usually stamp really nicely, so it's just my paranoia. Um, I've got this, thanks so much, I'm going to use. And this is from the... 
You mean the world to me, occasion set. And I love this. Love this stamp set. This is happy birthday to you, but it's all messed up so you can't see. <laughs> then there's thanks so much, and it's your day, and you mean the world to me. So, I know that's kind of silly. One of them says this that you can't see, but trust me, it's super cute. No. <laughs> It is, it is, I promise. Okay, I'm going to use the Lagoon ink to match. So let's get that done. Remember, I conditioned it on my arm. I know it's weird, but it works. Hey, go with it. Look at this. Make sure I've got enough ink on it. Nah, nah, nah. Somebody described this. Another director in Close My Heart described this as burping the baby. Just burp the baby. You don't have to press down super hard. Just burp the baby. I thought that was hilarious, actually. All right, I'm just going to set this in here. All right. Whoop. See, I don't even need all those precautions, right? Okay. And then I've got my little pieces I saved on my Cricut um, mat. By the way, I love the blue mat, the lighter grip, because it <laughs> it's really nice. Um, big fan of the light grip. Not as much a fan of the... Uh, <sighs> green one which is the normal grip because it's just so it's just so 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 it grips a little bit too much so I like the blue mat sadly the blue mat of course costs more and <laughs> not the way right so yeah so you want to wait till they have a sale on Cricut accessories before you go to the blue, the blue mat okay um, <laughs> what you guys can't see is I've got this big cord in the way because halfway through this video camera died so I have to plug it in <clears throat> so I'm working around this cord so that's why things are getting awkward. Oh, there isn't there always just something, but that's okay. We persevere in life. We got to keep pressing on. Okay. Okay. Not too bad. <laughs> and that's our card. So it's have a cup. Let me see it well. And then thanks so much. And our little coffee cup duplicate. Okay. <clears throat> Last step. Easy, easy. Cut an envelope using the Close My Heart Artfully Scent cartridge. And when you use the regular expression or E2, you would cut this at four and a quarter. And when you use the Explore, wait for it, you cut this at 10 and a quarter. I know, I know. <laughs> just go with it, people. Just, just accept it for what it is. It's what works. I know, it's weird though, it's weird. So Explore is 10 and a quarter and E2 and E is just like it says in the book, which is four and a quarter. I know, I know, I know. I don't make the rules here. I'm just reporting the news. <laughs> I don't make the news. I'm just telling you the way it is. And this is the way it works. This paper is from the Close to My Heart Seaside collection. And I think it's so versatile. Um, you know, of course, it's got my favorite Close to My Heart color, which is this Lagoon. I'm a sucker for the Lagoon color, I got to tell you. So I just scored that. And I'm just going to fold it in. Pull my pieces in. So how cute is that, right? Very cute. If I say so myself, <laughs> I'm going to fold this up. And now all I need to do, and what was Joy's rule? Always sticky on this flap that folds up. If you sticky here, bad stuff happens, folks. It gets, it's not good. Don't do it. I advise do not do it. So just on these very edges, on the part that folds up, the bottom flap, if you will, and you should not get into any trouble if you do that. So here is our envelope and our card, right? How cute. This Close to My Heart Artfully Scent Cricut cartridge is a full-size cartridge. It comes with three stamp sets, and those stamp sets are valued at $60. There's this font, there are these shapes, and there's an entire stamp set full of sentiments. So it's a really, really good value. You can. It also comes with a pack of 12 by 12 paper. You can purchase it, this at my Close to My Heart shop, which is at joytracy.com dot ctmh.com. Thank you.